Hey everyone, it's Jordan, Millionaire Millennial. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell so you guys get notified anytime I release a new video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about the best sellers rank and how it affects which products you pick. All right, so every product on Amazon has a ranking and when you're doing research to find a new product that you want to sell, you need to be sure that that product will sell and the best sellers rank will tell us whether or not that product's going to sell. So without further ado, let's jump into my computer and get started. So here I am on the, yes, you guessed it, the Amazon homepage where I always am. I spend so much time on this page in particular. It's actually insane. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit this drop down and pick a category that we might be interested in or a category that our product is in. Let's say we want to sell something in the... Um, sports and outdoors category, all right? What you wanna do is hit the minus sign and then type in some gibberish. And what this will do is it will pull up every single product in that category. So as you can see, this is how many products are in the sports and outdoor category. There's 23,735,840 products currently in the sports and outdoor category. So that being said, how does the ranking fit into all of this? So the one thing that you'll need to know about the best sellers rank is that it constantly changes every single day. And in fact, it probably changes multiple times every hour. So right here, I pulled up the Keepa graph for this product here. All right, so Keepa is just a, a free program and then they have a Chrome extension that you can get for free and it will display the Keepa graph in the window right there underneath the product. So it's really nice. Um, and I highly recommend this, this plugin, but as you can see, this rank is constantly changing. This green line is the rank, constantly changing um, every day. So we can actually move up into just today. This is the past 24 hours. It's changed one, two, three, four, five times, right? Just in the past 24 hours. So just because something is ranked good right now, okay, does not mean it's going to be ranked good tomorrow or the next day. So that's why you always need to look at the Keepa graph, okay? and ensure that that ranking is kind of still good in the past. Because if it's been good in the past, it means it will continue to be good in the future, most likely. Another very important aspect to keep in mind is that every category has a different number of products in it. For example, the arts, crafts, and sewing category, all right, is not going to have nearly as many products as the sports and outdoors. Notice this is not even three million, all right, where sports and outdoors was 23 million, all right? So it's it's like 10 times less. So something that's ranked, you know, 50,000 in arts and crafts, okay, is probably not going to sell as well as something ranked 50,000 or even 60, 75,000 in sports and outdoors. So you have to keep that in mind when you're looking at a new product is what's the rank in this category? So what's a good rank in each individual category. Well, I like to sell things that are in the top 2% or so, maybe two or 3%. What does that mean? We don't have a percentage. All we have is the sales rank and the total number in that category. Great. All right, so I've pulled up two different products, one in the arts and crafts category, which is just this bag, and another in the kitchen and dining category, which is this knife, all right? The, the knife is ranked 5,000 and the bag is ranked 2000, right? So you would think, oh, this one's ranked lower, so it would sell more, but there's a lot less products in the arts and crafts and sewing category. And I've put this in this spreadsheet over here, in the kitchen and dining category, there's 50 million products. And in the arts and crafts and sewing category, there's not even 3 million. And the percentage is just the rank divided by the number of products in that category. So the knife, right, is in the top 0.01% of its category, whereas the bags are in the top 0.07%. So what does that mean? It means that the knife is actually ranked better than the bag. And that's interesting because if we look, the rank of the knife was higher than the rank of the bag. So this is just to show that the rank is entirely dependent on what category it's in and that you really can't compare two products in two different categories very easily. What you need to do is break it down into this percentage 
and then see which one has a lower percentage because the smaller the number here, the better. So what kind of sales rank should you look at or what kind of sales percentage should you look at? Well, I like anything that's in the top two or three percent of its category, right? So if I was in the, the kitchen and dining, I could, I could say something as high as 300,000 because that's only a half a percent. You could even say something as high as, as a, a million. Too many, too many zeros there. Let's take off the zero. Because then at a million in kitchen and dining, that's you're still in the top 2%. But if we were to go and say a million in the arts and crafts, that's 33%. That's way too high. So for arts and crafts, maybe we only want to stick to something that's maybe 100,000 or even less than that because that's 3.4%. So you definitely want to make sure that you look at the category that you're selling in and that you kind of run this little calculation to make sure that the percentage is under three or three percent or so. So I really hope that this video helped you guys understand the ranking system here on Amazon and that you guys will find some really cool products to sell um, that will be profitable for you. So if you've got any questions, please feel free to ask me on any of my social media or here on YouTube and I'll be sure to answer. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you guys get notified every time that I release a new video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.